Weapon design is often meant to inspire fear, but occasionally it's just so goofy or strange that you wind up laughing. Such is the case with the weapons in this video. Toplist presents 10 Most Bizarre Guns Ever Designed. Number 10. Punt Gun Used mostly in the 19th and 20th centuries, the punt gun was absurdly big. Its main purpose was to hunt ducks, geese, pelicans, or any other kind of seabird. Oftentimes, they could be mounted onto a boat. Out in the water, the person manning the gun would line up some birds and then BOOM! Records exist of more than 90 birds being killed at once. As you can see, these things were huge, and since it took more than one person to carry them, and let's not forget the recoil, they were mounted on boats or skiffs almost all the time. Unsurprisingly, using punt guns had a very negative impact on the number of birds in the ecosystem. By the mid-19th century, a majority of US states had outlawed the use of punt guns, but they continued to be used in Britain. Number 9. Harmonica Guns On the surface, this sounds super weird. A harmonica gun? What is it? Is it some kind of instrument and weapon mixed into one? I suppose if you ever need to defend yourself while you play the harmonica, this would be the perfect weapon. A harmonica gun or slide gun is a form of firearm which was breech loaded with a steel slide, containing a number of chambers bored into it and were filled with projectiles. Most harmonica guns are percussion cap guns, although some designs exist for compressed air guns. The gun comes in both pistol and rifle models, as well as single action and double action, and this was invented by Jonathan Browning in the mid-1800s. Number 8. The Hunting Truce Pistol There are different kinds of combination weapons. Think of the bayonet. A historic weapon from 1546, it is currently held at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. It's a combination of a hunting truce, which is kind of like a hunting dagger, and a wheel lock pistol. The barrel of the gun runs along the back of the blade. Number 7. Duck's Foot Gun This weapon was nicknamed as the Duck's Foot Pistol because, well, just look at it. A duck's foot gun was a distinctive type of volley gun that was manufactured during the 19th century and the 20th century. Unlike other volley guns that had multiple barrels all aiming in the same direction, the duck's foot gun had four individual barrels that were arranged in a similar way to the foot of a duck. This unique arrangement meant that the user could use it to fire at more than one target at a time. This feature made it very popular with those who might have to face threats from groups or gangs, such as prison guards and ship captains. It wasn't perfect, as its heavy design and high recoil made it difficult to fire and aim. Number 6. Dyson Le Petit Protector Ring Pistol Long before James Bond's ingenious cigarette gun, ski pole gun, and yes, even bagpipe gun, there was the real-life Le Petit Protector. This six-shot 22 pistol was sold primarily to gamblers. Scarcely larger than a fingernail, this unusual 19th century pistol was mounted on a metal band and worn on the finger, much like a jeweled ring. Some of the other gadget guns are Kiss of Death, a 4.5mm caliber lipstick pistol used by KGB during the Cold War, the Bulgarian Umbrella, developed by the Bulgarian Secret Service and the KGB, and used against Georgi Markov, a dissident writer in 1978 on Waterloo Bridge, London, and the flashlight gun of North Korean secret agents. Number 5. Key Guns First used in the 16th century, Key guns allowed a jailer to keep his weapon throughout the entire extremely vulnerable process of opening a cell door, thus never leaving him unprotected. Well, all except for the times when he's actually using the key or barrel of the pistol to disengage the lock. That's right, key guns weren't just shaped like keys to throw people off or disguise their nature as pistols. They're both functional keys and functional pistols. Number 4. The Lamatt Revolver Invented in 1856 by Jean Lamatt, a New Orleans doctor, the Lamatt was actually two guns in one. The top barrel fires 42 caliber pistol rounds, while the second smaller barrel on the bottom holds a load of buckshot. I guess you could say he succeeded in packing guns into his guns. The gun was famed for its 9 shot capacity and an under barrel of 16 or 18 gauge shotgun and was favored by Confederate soldiers during the Civil War. Production ceased mainly in 1865, 
but the gun was still made in limited quantities for quite a long time. Today, Pieta of Italy makes a reproduction model. Number 3. Disposable Pistols Designed to be airdropped to resistance fighters in World War II, a million Liberator pistols were mass-produced from sheet metal for only $1.72 per unit over the course of just four weeks. The simple pistols didn't have the rifling grooves in the barrel that usually served to keep the bullet's trajectory straight, so they only had a range of about 7.5 meters or 25 feet. They were designed as a temporary weapon that resistance fighters could use to kill Japanese or German soldiers until they could scavenge a better gun. Number 2. Periscope Rifle A periscope rifle is a rifle that has been adapted to enable it to be sighted by the use of a periscope. This enables the shooter to remain concealed below cover. The device was independently invented by a number of individuals in response to the trench warfare conditions of the First World War. And while it's not clear which army was the first to use periscope rifles, the weapons were in use by the end of 1914. Similar devices were also built for use with machine guns. Now before we go on to our number one pick, if you're not subscribed, click the subscribe button and then click the YouTube bell next to subscribe to get notifications of more amazing videos. Number 1. The Gustav Rail Cannon The Nazis' Gustav was the largest gun ever built and didn't leave much planet where it hit. The Scherer Gustav is basically a massive cannon mounted on a train car. The idea for this massive cannon was that it could take out French forts located near railways and destroy Allied trains transporting supplies and soldiers. The Gustav gun weighed in at a massive 1344 tons, so heavy that even though it was attached to a rail car, it still had to be disassembled before moving it so as not to destroy the twin set of tracks as it passed over. This four-story behemoth stood 20 feet wide and 140 feet long. The Gustav had a bore diameter of 800 millimeters, which is just under a yard, and used 3,000 pounds, more than a ton of smokeless powder charge to fire its two primary shell types. Thanks for watching. If you can think of any more bizarre guns, let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Top List for more awesome videos like this one.